Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce the general circulation of atmosphere. The first, uh, first picture I want to talk about air pressure. The air pressure is used in reference to the weight of the air mo molecules pressing down on the Earth. Air pressure is determined by three, three factors, temperature, attitude, and moisture. As air gets warmer, it expands. This expansion causes the density of the air to decrease, which results in lower pressure. The explanation is why air near the equator, which are hot, generally have low air pressure, and the air near the north and south poles, which are cold, have high air pressure. Altitude. The higher you are above sea level, the less dense the air is. As less dense air, weight less, it produces low air pressure, which is why it can be difficult to breathe on top of the mountain. Moisture. When the moisture in the atmosphere increased, the amount of uh, nitrogen and oxygen decreased per unit of value, which caused the density of the air to decrease. This picture shows about wind. Wind flow is uh, initiated by air flowing from high pressure to low pressure. Since the Earth is uh, rotating, However, the air does not flow directly from high to low pressure, but is deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere, to the left in the southern hemisphere. So that the wind flows most, mostly around the high and the low pressure areas. This one is high pressure areas. This one is low pressure areas. Coriolis effect. This picture shows the Coriolis effect about uh, the moving um, stuff in the in the earth. It's uh, have an in intended path. It's like a straight line. This one, straight line. But the actual actual path is is this curved line. This means that. It, Coriolis effect. Coriolis effect is caused by the Earth's rotation. The this effect does not impact the wind the wind speed, only the wind direction. The de deflection of Coriolis effect is greatest at the poles and then the decrease at the to zero at the equator. This slide, I will use the two pictures to show the, what's the difference about the intended path and the actual path. This one is a in uh, intent. It's this a uh, no rotation. It means no coronal effect in on Earth. It's like the the the, the wind. It's like this one, but. This one is a repeat, rapid rotation. It's it's by it's deflection by Coriolis effection. Um, it's uh, have direction about this one on a, a planet with the little or no rotation. The globe air circulation pattern 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 is very simple, but. Uh, the pattern with a rapid rotation, the Coriolis effect created a large scale eddies with the belt of the wind and the belts of calm. This uh, this uh, large scale eddies is very important about the Coriolis effect because it's a uh, impact about the uh, damage weather. For example, is a hurricane. Or typhoon, or uh, other very very serious uh, damage weathers. This picture shows the uh, wind patterns of Earth. 
differently uh, differential heating of Earth's surface result in equatorial region receiving more heat than the poles. As air is warmed at the equator, it's become less dense and rises, while at the poles, the cold air is denser and sink. The Coriolis effect deflected the path of the wind to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Between the equator and the 30 degree latitude are the treat wind. It's treat wind. And the northeast treat wind in the north half hemisphere and the southeast treat wind is the southern hemisphere. Note the the wind are named based on the direction from which they are or range it not where they are going. It means the it's direction from where the wind come come from, but not where they are going. The westerlies are the dominated wind between thirty degree to sixty degree in both hemisphere and the pool is the are found between sixty de sixty degree and the pool. In between this wind bed lie regions of high and low pressure. High pressure zones occur where air is descending where low pressure zones indicated rising air. One of the most important things of a coronavirus effect action act on at storm system. Big storms is like hurricanes and the typhoons, the tropical concurrence are low pressure system. That means that they suck air into their center. This picture uh, show is a um, hurricane. Hurricane Sandy um, is uh, on two thousand twelve. It was uh, the that deadliest and the most uh, destructive and uh, the strongest hurricane of uh, the um, Atlantic hurricane season in twenty uh, two thousand twelve. The storm. Inflicted nearby, uh, seventy billion U.S. dollars in damage and killed two hundred thirty-three people across eight countries from the Caribbean to Canada. That's uh, my today's uh, presentation about the the. Those important conception. Um, thank you so much to listen to my presentation.